Hi guys, welcome to a new tutorial and in this one we're going to be unwrapping a more like a character object and in the previous tutorial if you remember we tried unwrapping a very simple metallic object or hard surface object and it was a little bit easy to do but um, for character you would have a kind of stylized character that will require you um, unwrapping these things right so that is what this tutorial is about. So you have this head character, which I all brought in from the content browser. And mind you, um, I'm going to also put link to this project file in the description below so you can also follow along. But then what I wanted to say was that in the project browser, in the content browser, the character that I brought out, I deleted the UV tag. And the reason why I did that is because, was because rather, the UV tag that comes with it has this character unwrapped already. So I want us to, I want to take us through the process of manually unwrapping this. So I brought in new UV tag and if you hold down shift, remember in the previous tutorial, you can always check that. If you hold down shift and double click here, it's going to give you um, what the UV layout is about. So this doesn't really explain what this model is. And it's because of the new UV that I added here. And I purposely destroyed this so for us to learn how to bring this back, all right? So without further ado, let's start in, in this tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is to um, select the parts where I'm going to cut this object from. If you, if you recall in the previous tutorial, and um, particularly in the previous one, I talked about using edge to cut an object. When you're unwrapping an object, it means you're cutting loose. You are using scissors to cut an object along the particular section. So we're going to do that on this model. So I'm going to go to my edge mode, have the object selected, you can already see. So this is what um, Cinema 4D has given us. So we have um, this object cut through. So this is more like we're going to have the object being cut through from this part up to this place and as it gets here you also cut here and here so this part will go out and also folds out so that is what this is um, going to be but you can also have your own cut so if you don't want to have this cut if you also if you do this now this is the kind of thing you're also going to have for but but in our case if you feel we don't want to have this cut this way we can cut this object loose. So let's say we want to get rid of this, hold down control, control. So we just want to cut this thing part, this thing out, and maybe we just have one so that we can have this little thing cut out. So once you're okay with this set, then we will go to our layout and change from startup to UV. That did. So once we have this, the Next thing we're going to do is to go to our polygon mode and make sure everything is selected. Control A has all of them selected. And once we have all these things selected, we can just, and okay, by the way, another thing we can also do is, if you don't want to include this eye in your, um, you have a separate eye object to use, you can just get rid of this section and you can, okay, so let's just do that. So let's do a very different thing now. So if we go to this and use our, um, just select this, just select this I section and delete. So we're not going to be having that in this model. We're going to select this and delete. So this is gone. And also for the mouth, do we need to get rid of this? Mm, I don't think so. Possibly not. Or maybe we could just, um thinking of okay we could just leave this here and just the only thing we have out is the eyes so we want to do that so another thing is if you want the ears to be not to be um added to this you can also cut this ear out but it's just the same process if you want to do that you go to your edge mode make sure that this loop is also selected so you can just click here and click around to select the loop around the ears. So if I do this, 
So I'm trying to try as much to look at the loop that I can have there. All right. So you do the same thing for the other here back there. Okay, I've lost my. So we can always go back. So we'll do the same thing here. Hold down Shift, add this to the selection. So we can just use our right click. We can just go to our selection and use path selection and continue. Hold down Shift and continue in this selection until we have this. So we have the both ears. Then let's get back to this pack because we want to still call this. Hold down Shift and continue with your path selection and Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. Control Z. So hold down Shift and continue until you get to where you want this to cut. So I think we want to cut here. Then this comes here. This comes here. So that is what we want to have. All right. So once we're done with that, the next thing is first now select the part of the object that we want to, the boundary of the object that we want to unwrap. So if we use UF for field selection, it's going to pick boundary that are joined. Notice this part is not select, it's not part of it because that is out of the boundary. So notice as I click, it automatically converts it to polygon selection and that is fine. And the good thing here is that we still have our loop selection, we still have our edge selection. So once we go to this and that is selected, we can now go to our UV polygon. Then we go to our relax tab. Then make sure cut selected edges activated, then we are right. Can choose any of these algorithm. So let's try ABF and apply. Notice what we have. So we can use our move tool to move this out and also rotate to rotate this just for us to be able to explain this well so you can already see this is the hole for the ear this is the hole for the eyes so once we are okay with that we can now use our move tool to move this in place just somewhere here you can see where we had that cut this is the top of the head and we have this so if i want to join this here we can also join by remember in the previous tutorial we'll go to our point mode if you remember, if you select this, if you use your selection and pick this point, this is it here. I pick this point also, still the same point, and also this last point. So that means these three points here, they are on the same plane. So I want to join them together. And that can be done using UV commands. And this is what we want to use, UV terrace. That is what we use in sewing them together. So just click on UV terrace, sews them together, and we have this so once you are done with that the next thing is to unwrap your ear so you, the ear is already fine so we can but you can always go back and do that again so if we go to edge mode and just select the two ears so you can use ui for inversion so you can invert your selection then come to relax uv and relax that and that is set here and if you look at it, let's use our move tool to bring this out. So we can just bring this to UVs out. So we can go to the UV polygon mode and move this. Now, right now, the proportion is wrong. This here is very large because if I'm to create a poly, if I'm to create a material now, remember. So let me change this. Um, let me just create a material. And double click here and give it a checkerboard. If you remember, surface, checkerboard, and just drag this over to this. Notice what is happening. See the ears and see the body. So, the reason why the checkerboard on the ear is so small is because it's very large compared to this. So, we need to unwrap this such that this is in proportion. So. We will use our scale tool and start scaling this down. As we are scaling this down, we are seeing that this is we are already seeing these effects coming out playing well. So if I double click on this, you get to know which side this is. So this is the side here. And let me also check 
so this is this side to this side all right so we are going to use our move tool to bring this here so we will need to scale this down here for us to see the actual proportion then we can also use move move this so what i'm trying to do is to place this here and then rotate along this point making it a pivot point so that's just what i usually do then i can just use my rotate and pick here and rotate this so once i rotate that the next thing i can do is start scaling this up for me to have this so can you scale make that same point so it scales up from that edge all right i hope you understand what i'm doing here so once you have this set just gradually bring it bring it in place and also visually you need to look at what is happening here i'm trying to align this and make it look not too bad so this looks a little bit fine so we'll do the same thing so i can just move this out so the scale is fine but you can already see that so we can do the same thing here double click here and move then i want this to be here and use my rotate so what i'm doing is just to get the actual proportion right and then bring it out again so we have this then this is too large so i can just scale this down from this point so maybe something here so we can use move tool to also move this out so once we have that the next thing we can do is just to start bringing them into this so because don't forget you don't want your texture to be out of this texture um, space so i'm going to double click here it's going to select all joint texture so we'll bring this over to this place and then possibly rotate this i don't want to reduce this more so i'll rotate about this circle this center then just bring this like this and just to fill in this space so i have this set so the next thing is so if you don't like the way this goes maybe you want it to be vertical and damage i'm afraid what you will need to do is to scale this down all right so you just have to scale this down if you want your uv to be vertical then move this so you you already get what that entails and how to get this so if i bring this up a little bit and use my move tool to move this in place i want to make sure it doesn't go out of the space then double click here and bring this also here do the same thing for this double click bring this here remember i've scaled this down so that means i need to also scale this a little bit down just a little bit do the same thing here scale this down a little bit all right so that is pretty much how you can unwrap uh, a character object and that is it nothing special and nothing like that you have that okay so if you feel this was helpful and intuitive and just to give me a thumbs up and like to share the video and also if you are new to this channel please do subscribe it helps me a lot and helps me to do more tutorials and i hope to do more tutorials in the coming future then like i said in the previous tutorial if you have a character that you want us to or any object you want us to unwrap just send them in the description so we can do that in the next tutorial but if not we are going to be looking at a different project now so what we are done is just to unwrap so we are going to look at a uh, complete project where you unwrap and take it to photoshop and then texture and bring it back so that is what i'm going to be doing next so do have a wonderful day and god bless you bye